Hi, welcome to review on my Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith Anakin Skywalker Master Replica's FX Lightsaber review. Now, I measured the blade previously because I had an outtake. I accidentally got myself in the film. And my mom won't let me show myself on YouTube, so I need to respect her wishes. Or the rules, at least. It measures 32 inches for the blade. And the lightsaber hilt, you know, the metal part from here to there, is about 10 and a half inches. But if you might have noticed, there's no battery pack in it. I took it out because if you leave it in there, I've noticed that it drains batteries. And plus, if you leave it in there and you forget about it, you don't want something that's that expensive to, you know, get ruined. And you can see, it takes three AA batteries, and that's where the energy gets transferred into the lightsaber. Now inside of here is what I call like a little switch box where you throw the switch, switch it turns on. Now if you're wondering where are the screws, I mean it's highly detailed and really the whole thing is like a metal pipe. The original thing is a metal pipe with you know electronics put inside of it. And the switch box is inside of this thing. If you had a very flat screw driver head, you pried that off, there'd be two screws, one right about here, one right about there. And then inside you have a switch and everything, and then there'd be more screws, and you could just eventually take everything apart. Now, this rubber grip right here, well, all of them, are what you'd find in a hardware store. So you can actually make your own FX lightsaber from a hardware store, which is pretty interesting. And most people think they're glued on there, but really, if you could, well, you can't really look on the inside because it's really dark in there, but right it, underneath the pipe, they're actually really well stuck on there because it's FX and got for Christmas and now it's the Christmas we believe I had appendicitis and next thing you know I felt better and I spent my whole Christmas in the hospital so that was a lot of fun that was a little while ago and on the rain it says 2005 Master Replicas Inc and from Lucasfilm LTD and um, most of you are probably waiting to see when it turns on Sorry about that. And inside there's, I believe there's 64 bright blue LED lights. And, um, see, they have a little yellow arrow right here because it's not perfectly round. But, I want to make sure it's switched off because it, I scare my mom with it all the time. I, when she's coming out of the, uh, my dad, their bedroom. I just jump out and yell, rah, and next thing you know it, just like, I just put this back on. But these things are a lot of fun. It's not screwing on. That's odd. There we go. That's better. And the rain that holds the little thing right here, you know, the rain that screws everything together, is actually like the little rain you'd probably use for a pipe. But anyway. <coughs> That lightsaber sound effects. You turn off all the lights. It looks real. Or at least on my camera it does. Now here are some of the sound effects. I'll put it. Right here. There's movement sound effects when you move it. There's motion sensors inside of it. There's two different kinds of motion. I mean, there's two different kind of motion sounds, I believe. Not sure. Now here's some clashing sounds. you didn't hear it, this is what it's like when you turn it on. I'll put it up. But before I do that, here's a small glitch. Watch when you turn it off. If you turn it on and throw this here in a second. Let's get some light so you there we go. But when you turn it on and then you throw it back quickly, watch what happens. I don't know if I do that very much, but that's just a small glitch in it. So I'd be careful. And I'm surprised that the review was this short, but it's really cool. And if you wanted to clean it from fingerprints, since, trust me, it gets really dusty and has lots of fingerprints on it a lot from just even touching it, I'd recommend a very, very damp wash washcloth, and I'd be very careful around this part right here. And the thing right here. 
and it's got probably about five different clash sound effects and two different um, motion sound effects. And there's two sensors in there. One to re register when you get hit, and you know when you touch the light, hit the lightsaber. Another one for when you move it. And it's got a really loud humming sound to it. See, this is the speaker right here. And I believe there's a sound chip inside of it. And if you want to make your own, there's a website to where you can download sound effects to a sound chip or something like that through the computer and make your own. So that's really neat. And when you use it. It feels like a real lightsaber, although it doesn't cut through anything, thank goodness. Or me and my sister would have no limbs, or heads, or bodies for that matter. So, um, I believe this is where they hook down to their belts, I'm not, you know, for Anakin and everybody. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, on ex I'm not an expert on Star Wars. But most people are wondering why you can't put, you know, push the button and turn it on because you can't fit all that electronic stuff right here when the blade is right there. Some people have redone the lightsaber and customized it themselves, given it a crystal chamber and everything, but this one's nothing fancy like that. And the blade on this one does not come off unless you took it apart. And it doesn't work like the other fancy schmancy ones. You know, all the really fancy lightsabers. But overall, it's really cool. If you battle with it, you can but if it had a removable blade, you could probably, if you were smart enough, you could probably buy a blade, the blue, with 64 bright LED lights, and get a stronger plastic. Because see the white band inside of this light right here? It's just covered in plastic. So if you've got stronger plastic, see? So, it's not as bright, of course, because it's not very expensive. It's just a small light. And LEDs, I believe, never burn out. But... If you hit them at the right angle, you could break them. But anyway, thanks for watching my Master Replicas review. Bye.